Chuck, did you see the new episode of Book of Boba Fett? No, but I did see the season premiere of The Mandalorian. Me too. Hello and welcome to the Nerd Card. I'm Phil. I'm Chuck. And today we're diving into the Book of Boba Fett, Chapter 5. Hold on a sec. Hold on. on. (laughs) The Mandalorian, Season 3, Episode 1. Yeah, the book the book of Jinjarin. I mean, you know, whatever you want to call it. It 100% is. I mean, this episode is, in my opinion, by far the best episode that we've seen of the Book of Boba Fett. Yeah, except it was the Mandalorian. That, that's the problem. I mean, to, to take a quote from Mr. Walter White, you goddamn right. Yeah, I mean, for 100%. You know, it it's like, you know... It, It'd be like if Marvel made a Captain America movie, but it was about Iron Man. Wait, no, they did that. They did that. Um, yeah, they, it, they did. And it's 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 the same kind of thing. Wait, and you know was, what? It's the best Captain America movie too. In my well, okay, so yeah. you got an argument for Winter Soldier, yeah, yeah. but which we won't get into now. No, we're not getting into but that now. But it's it's the same yeah. kind of thing, right? <laughs> it is. Um, the only difference is, for me. Is this this advanced the story of the Mandalorian, not the story of the Book of Boba Fett? You're absolutely correct. And so, and did so in a great way. It was I a mean, very good Mandalorian episode, but it was it was amazing. I mean, I literally and I watched it this morning. <laughs> I'm watching it, and it starts out, and you hear the Mando music, right? And he goes walking through the meat locker door, and you're like, oh, sweet, Mando's in this one. He knew it was coming. Yep. You know, I mean, from the cues in the last movie, one of our one of our commenters on the video outright said it, and he wasn't wrong. Yeah, um, 100%. You know, I think it was Lucas said that. Um, uh, 100% right. And mm-hmm. it, it happened early in the episode. I'm like, okay, cool. There's Because as soon as you see the best car spear, you're like, that's Mando. Well, yeah, you didn't even need the music. You see him behind the curtain, yeah. and there's the spear, and you're like, okay, it's Mando. But as we're, yeah. as I'm watching it, I'm going, and it's like 15 minutes. I'm like, man, there's still no Boba Fett. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's I'm like, what's going on? And it gets, I actually stopped the show, paused it to see how much time was left. It was at 36 minutes, <laughs> and there was still no one from the cast of the show in the episode. Right. Well, It didn't happen until minute 45 of a 46-minute episode. Did she tell you her name? Fennec Shan. <laughs> I thought you said that the hangar security system was off. Don't get away from me. You're absolutely correct. And it's funny because uh, Chuck watches much, much earlier in the day yeah. than I did. And I ended up watching it mm-hmm. later. And he, he had texted me and said, hey, man, have you watched it yet? And I said, no, I haven't. I'm going to watch it in just a little bit. Uh, he goes, all right, well, let me know what you think. And I texted him and I said, is this the Mandalorian or is it the Book of Boba Fett? And then I texted him back and said, well, I'm only 20 minutes in. Maybe it. Right. Maybe, and never, you know, yeah. the boba never came. No, the boba never came. <laughs> it was like, how do you have a show called The Book of Boba Fett and you don't have the titular character? In a whole episode. In the entire episode. No, I mean, the they say his episode. name. That's about it. Uh, just absolutely ridiculous. But I'll tell you what we got is a damn good episode of The Mandalorian. Yeah, I mean, you see you see uh, Mando fighting with the Darksaber for the first time. Yeah. You know, clearly and untrained. Doesn't failing know what he's miserably. Doing. Yeah, hurting himself with his own lightsaber. Yeah. You know, and then he gets in the fight with one of the one of Pre Vizsla's uh, ans- or, uh, ancestors or, or, or offspring, I guess I should say, descendants, yeah. not ancestor, descendant. Uh, Paz Vizsla. Paz Vizsla, who... Mm-hmm. All right, so I it's he's not credited as such, but I believe that that is John Favreau that we're seeing. I think Phil's right. He's a pretty hefty Mandalorian. We watched it over a couple times, and is yeah. it one of the lines when he says it has a very Favreau inflection? To it the it line. just it sounds like him. It yeah. looks like it could be him, and it makes sense since he voiced Pre Vizsla in yeah. For the those who don't know, in the yeah. Clone Wars, Pre Vizsla, who started Death Watch or was the leader of Death Watch, I believe he started it. Your mark. The sign of Clan Vizsla. I am Pre Vizsla. We are the Death Watch. Descendants of the true warrior faith all Mandalorians once knew. Um, well, correct me if I'm wrong there. Yeah. Was voiced by Jon Favreau, 
which always makes me laugh because, you know, the armorer tells Mando that you're not a Mandalorian anymore because you took your helmet off. But if you watch Clone Wars pre Vizsla, who started your clan, yeah. takes his helmet off all the time. Well, in um, every member of the Death Watch right. really did. They didn't really adhere to that. Right. Um, but we do find out, of course, that, uh, well, we don't find it out, but we, the armorer continues talking about uh, another Death Watch member. Mm hmm. Bo Katan, where yeah, yeah. she had well, obviously she removed her helmet quite a bit. Sure, but uh, she had obtained the dark saber from Sabian Ren and Rebels without combat, and yeah. therefore led to the destruction of Mandalore. Now I understand why the saber came to me. It came to me so I could pass it to you. I accept this sword for my sister. For my clan, and for all of Mandalore. Yeah. Um, it, it incredibly interesting. That whole scene yeah. lays out a ton of the history of the Mandalore, and it's great callbacks to Clone Wars and to Rebels. Without you a know doubt. that yes. Filoni obviously was the executive producer of both those shows, and Favreau was involved. So again, I love how they reach back into the into the way back uh, lore can and some of this was canon already so that but they reached Absolutely. back to a previous show you know we have other callbacks in the episode I mean uh, I'm was thought Mando might say yippee I mean yippee! and he said wizard <laughs> um, it's know? amazing he didn't yeah I mean. <laughs> how was your first flight wizard well how was it wizard yeah in <laughs> In the in probably what was the hero starfighter that Anakin flew in the Phantom Menace? It's it the could, same model. Could very well be. It is the same model. The, yeah. The Nubian uh, N one. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, you swear. I mean, Phil called it early on. He wanted to see a pod race. I we got it. We're gonna count it. I did, dude. That's a pod race. Now this is pod race. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I I said I bet you we'll see a pod race. We saw one. We're counting that. He's getting full credit there for that one. Thank you. But uh, what we also saw was Beggar's Canyon. Beggar's Canyon and a Womp Rat. And a Womp Rat. You know, Luke telling us all about how he, you know, how he and Biggs used to bag them back in the day. Yeah, bullseye womp rats. There you go. But it's not impossible. I used to bullseye womp rats in my T-16 back home. They're not much bigger than two meters. But I will say, uh, Luke does say they're no, not much bigger than two meters. That thing didn't look two meters. No, but based on the credits and the conceptual art, um, the the critter that was was, uh, was accosting Boba's shipbuilder, I forget her name off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was a womp rat, and that thing was about two meters. Yeah, yeah, and that was maybe it was a bigger womp rat. Yeah, or yeah, for yeah. sure. Or that was an infant in the canyon. It could very yeah. well be, but yeah, the thing attacking the BD droid. And yeah, the, yep. yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a womp rat. And that BD droid, of course, uh, made popular with uh, Jedi Fallen Order, yep. the, the video game. Yep. So. I mean, a ton, just a ton, a ton of, callbacks. of callbacks. Yeah, uh, a lot of stuff that was really cool, and some of the stuff that just made you go. Yeah, <laughs> I I slapped my forehead when he said "wizard." Wizard. I was just <laughs> that's, like, <laughs> that's it exactly. But you know the oh, ring, the ring city, like wizard. it looked like Elysium. That was really in the movie Elysium. That was sure. really sweet. It did look really cool. Um, you know the fight with between him and Vizsla. Um, you know, it, it was it was a great episode, but my beef was it's a great Mandalorian episode. Yeah, it wasn't an episode of the Book of Boba. Why is it, why is it even an episode in this series? My no. The only part of it advancing the story was, was simply Fennec at Shand. the end yeah. when he says, you know, she needs to hire muscle. So okay, so he's there to do that. You could have done that in twenty seconds. Yeah, and the only gangster thing said in the entire show. <laughs> <laughs> was when Mando said he had to go say hello to his little friend. I gotta pay a visit to a little friend. This guy. This little that, guy. That's it. There was nothing else. It advanced the heck out of the story of the Mandalorian. It absolutely did. But not the Book the, of Boba Fett. This was 100% the season premiere of the Mandalorian season Yeah, three. in the Book of Boba Fett. It was. I, I don't get it. You know, I, I just... Again, Favreau and Filoni have been masterful with everything. Really I'm just have. kind of, I, and I, I, I'd feel like a tool criticizing them, 
but it's just I don't I don't understand. Maybe again, maybe I'm just dumb. I don't well, understand the storytelling they're doing in this season between I don't either the flashbacks between you know now an entire episode that's basically the Mandalorian that is the Mandalorian. It is. You have other than flashbacks, you have probably one half hour episode of real time Boba Fett's activities. And that's so sad because and it, it's funny we were talking about this earlier through text and we we kept saying you know there's so many things you could do with boba it's as a boba character. fett it's boba fett how do you not come up with a story tell a boba fett story I could, you know, I, I told Phil, I like I could write five seasons of Boba Fett stories right now. So easy. He's got he's an established character with an established uh, yeah. character, you know, character surrounding him, supporting characters. Bring I, in you know, Cad Bane, bring in his whole group of bounty hunters that he grew, came up with. You got Bosk, you got Dengar, you got IG-88. There will be a substantial reward for the one who finds the Millennium Falcon. You are free to use any methods necessary, but I want them alive. No disintegration. As you wish. If, yeah. You there's any have number so of many of those hunters. things. Yeah. It, continue making him a bounty hunter or make him Jabba's replacement. Do any of that but stuff. Just but just have him be Boba Fett and do Boba Fett things. Exactly. And bring in those other characters as rivals, as allies, whatever you got to do. Just tell a Boba Fett story. Yeah. I love the episode. But it was the Mandalorian. <sighs> it was the Mandalorian. It's 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 frustrating, but you know what we got yeah. out of it was a really great episode. Sure, that's the worst part is we're, we're you know we're bitching about it, but really the best episode of the Book of Boba Fett the, doesn't have Boba Fett in it. <laughs> it's the best episode of the series so far. Yeah, and uh, didn't even feature Boba Fett. That's just I, I'm 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 very vexed again. Just wow, terribly vexed. <laughs> yeah. Either way, I think that wraps it yep. up for Chapter 5, uh, The Return of the Mandalorian. And uh, I would like to remind you, check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Spotify, all that good stuff. We are out there. And uh, remind us or uh, tell all your nerd friends to check us out as well so they can join in the party. And with that, we'll say what's, what's on, on your, your nerd, nerd card. card.